S&P could lose up to 50% in the coming months. That's the assumption we're approaching the worst financial crisis ever. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we continue to talk about one of the most interesting and popular topics in the history of financial markets and finance in general. We have probably already entered the recession tunnel, and the next few months will be critical. If on the one hand, we are facing critical events and scenarios, on the other hand, we have opportunities that should not be underestimated. I mentioned it in one of the first videos if you want to learn more about what we're talking about. 2022 was truly a very particular and extremely complicated year for many financial asset classes, the stock market, the bond market, and the American stock indexes in particular. This is largely due to interest rate policies and inflationary dynamics. As already explained, there is a strong correlation between interest rates and inflation, especially when talking about real interest rates. All of this is centered around an economy that is really in great difficulty, either due to pandemic effects or the injection of large amounts of money to face the last two to three years. This huge monetary mass, as already mentioned in another video, was supposed to help businesses and citizens, but unfortunately, it didn't go into the real economy. Particularly affected was the S&P 500 index, the most important and representative American stock index. In fact, the index reflects the state of health of American big tech companies, which have lost a lot of value on the stock market as interest rates have risen. You can see that there is a more direct correlation between big tech and interest rates, and less between interest rates and the mainstream economy. Many believe that 2023 will be the year of truth, whether stock indices like the S&P 500 will resume their upward trend or continue to go down, with some predicting the worst-case scenarios that began in 2008 remains to be seen. Based on the recent crisis and other events, we should be cautious in our investments and in the actions that banks should take. What we must remember is that, just as in nature, there are cycles in the economy and financial markets. Thus, crises will reoccur, always with worse dynamics. And in this case, it is right to recall what Karl Marx said in the 19th century. He said that economic and financial crises are characterized by boom and bust phases and will be increasingly amplified. We could link this to the speeches of some famous investors and economists who talk about the next black swan. So as an investor, you have to consider all this, don't panic, have a strategy and follow it, having many plans according to the scenarios and try to have an investment portfolio as balanced as possible. This also applies to those who run a business or in private life. Be prepared for all scenarios that arise. As reported in another video in which I talked about the recession, this moment offers great investment opportunities with shares EPS at a discount with absolutely accessible prices compared to the end of 2021. For those with little knowledge of the financial markets, it will be difficult to listen and identify the black swan. The black swan theory is a metaphor that indicates a rare event that has significant effects on society, the economy, and finance, an extremely rare event that can cause catastrophic damage. Events that cannot be predicted but should only be prepared to the greatest extent possible due to their unpredictability. The term was popularized by NASA Nicholas Taleb, a finance professor, writer, and former Wall Street trader. Taleb wrote about the idea of a black swan event in a 2007 book prior to the events of the 2008 financial crisis. Taleb argued that because black swan events are impossible to predict due to their extreme rarity, they have catastrophic consequences. So it's important for people to always think that a black swan event is a possibility, whatever that may be, and to plan accordingly. There have been several black swan events throughout history, and they can take very different forms. The two world wars, the impact of the spread of the internet, and the financial crisis of 1987 and 2008 are all examples of black swan events. Going outside the economic and financial context, the term black swan refers to the story that in the Western world, all swans were believed to be white simply because different ones were never seen, until this belief was cancelled with the discovery of Australia and the first black swan ever seen in the West. Therefore, financial and economic crises will always be around the corner as well as cycles of high or low unemployment and data on the health of companies and national economies. What I would like to highlight in this video is that maybe the black swan will come or maybe not, but the opportunities will be there for those who know how to wait. You need to have strategies to balance your portfolio and be ready. There are those who hypothesize a possible short bull run in the coming months, followed by a new and constant sharp decline in the markets. There are those who will be right or wrong, but the advice is to prepare yourself without being greedy and aggressive. Find out about and manage your capital according to your availability. While you've reached the end of the video, if you are interested in learning more about similar topics, here you will find other really interesting videos from the channel. Thanks for watching this video. Click on the like button if you enjoyed it. And do not forget to subscribe in case you didn't. See you on the next one.